You've been spending all your time repairing walls and resupplying turrets at your outpost, so you decide to automate it. Everything seems fine until it isn't. First, the walls collapse, then the turrets fall silent, and before long, the entire outpost is gone. How could this happen? You had robot ports, repair bots, electricity, everything for self-maintenance, but what you didn't account for was supply. And when that ran dry, so did your defenses. Today, I'll show you how to make sure your outpost always gets the resources they need, delivered automatically, without you lifting a finger. The design might look complicated at first, but it's not as complicated as it seems. First, we start at the loading station and with the constant combinator. This constant combinator will determine what resources is needed to our outpost and in what quantities. A group is used to make it easier. This group can be reused at the loading and at the unloading station. And in this example, we will use barrel, but we can use any resources. Once we've determined the resources that we want to be supplied to our outpost, we need to connect the constant combinator to the arithmetic calculator. To do so, we will use a green wire that we will connect from the constant combinator into the input of the arithmetic calculator. Make sure that you connect it to the input of the arithmetic calculator and not the output. So far, the calculator knows the desired resources, but it doesn't know how much it needs to load in the train. To help with that, we need to take into consideration what is already in the wagons of the train. So to achieve this, we need to go on the train stop and we need to enable read train contents. This will allow to read the content of the train on the circuit network and allows it to use a red wire to connect it to the input of the arithmetic calculator. The arithmetic calculator now has two inputs, a green wire and a red wire. The green wire representing the resources that we want and the red wire representing the resources that are already in the train. This will allow to make a calculations where we can subtract the resources that are already on the train from the resources that are desired. To do so, when selecting the arithmetic combinator, we first select the output as green, which is the desired resources. Then we need to select a signal. We will select each, which means for each resources. So if there is more than one resource, it will select all of them and perform the operation on all of them. Then we need to select the operator. We want a subtraction. So we will select the minus operator. Then we want to subtract the resources that are already on the train. Those resources are on the red wire, so we will select the red box. Once again, we need to select a signal, which will be each, because one more time we want each resources to be taken into account from the train. We also want to output all the resources that have been evaluated by the arithmetic combinator. So to do so, we will need to select the each signal in the output box. In this case, we can see that there are 160 barrels in the train and we desire only 100 barrels, so we have a negative of 60 barrels, so nothing should be loaded on the train. The arithmetic combinator is now able to determine whether a resource should be loaded or not, but this information should be available to the inserter. The inserter should only load resources that are needed and not the ones that are no longer needed. To do so, connect the output of the arithmetic combinator to the inserter. Then select the inserter and select the set filter box. This will allow the inserter to filter based on the output of the arithmetic combinator. But we're still missing something. The resources are still not delivered to our loading station. To do so, we need to connect the constant combinator to the requester chest. And after that, we need to select the requester chest and change the mode of operations to set requests. The requester chest will now request items based on what is defined on the constant combinator in our case light old barrels. That's pretty much it for the loading station. If you want, you can add extra items to the group on the constant combinator and those items will be loaded on the train and delivered to your outpost as well. You can also duplicate the setup to have more chests and more storage capacity. If you decide to do so, you don't need to connect the train stop to each arithmetic combinator. You can simply connect them with a red wire to keep the signal. When it comes to unloading, it is fairly similar. You will need a constant combinator that sets the resources that are desired, and here the group can be reused. This is simpler because you don't need to redefine all the resources that you want, and also if you ever decide to change one resource, it will automatically update it. After that, you need to connect the constant combinator to the arithmetic combinator. In our case, we will use a green wire. Here once again, we need to do a subtraction, but this time, we don't want to subtract what is in the train, we want to subtract what is in the chest because we don't want to overload the chest with items that we already have. 
This will ensure that if you want 100 items, there will not be more than 100 items in the chest. To achieve that, we need to connect the chest with the red wire to the arithmetic combinator. We then need to set the arithmetic combinator. The setup is very similar. We need to take the green as an input for each signal and we need to subtract each signal of the red wire and we also want to output each signal. We then connect the output of the arithmetic combinator to the inserter and we need to enable the set filters on it. We can also notice that the chest is a storage chest. This will allow to make the resources available to the network but you will need a robot port and logistic robots to transport them. If you decide to have multiple chests at the loading station, you will also need to replicate it here and have multiple chests at the unloading station. So far we loaded one wagon, but what if we wanted to load multiple cars of the same train? Can we do that and can we evenly split the resources across the two wagons? It's possible, but we can ensure that the resources will be evenly split because there is no signal that we can read from the car themselves the signals is read from the train. If you want to load two cars of the same train, we will need to use a similar setup, but here we will need to use an extra arithmetic combinator. This extra arithmetic combinator will be used to split the resources evenly across the multiple wagons. If you want to use two cars, it means that we will need to divide the resources desired by two, but also the resources that are on the train by two. To do so, we need to add the extra arithmetic combinator at the top, just below the constant combinator and connect the constant combinator to it. We then need to use it to set the denominator, so in this case 2 because we will have two cars and we want to consider each output from the constant combinator and we want to output each output as well. This will then be connected to the next arithmetic combinator just under it. This arithmetic combinator will remain unchanged compared to the previous setup but we're still missing something, we can't consider all the resources on the train, so we need to divide this by 2 as well. To do so, we need to use another arithmetic combinator, which is on the left, and connect the train stop to it. Its setup will be the same, we need to use the divide operator, but here we need to use the red as an input for each signal and output each signal as well. Then we need to connect it to the second arithmetic combinator where the subtraction will be performed, just as before. The rest of the setup is the same, the arithmetic combinator needs to be connected to the inserter and the filters of the inserters need to be set, and the first arithmetic combinator, which defines what resources are needed, needs to be connected to the requester chest, with the mode of operation set request. For the second car, you simply need to duplicate the setup and ensure that the signal from the train is transmitted to the arithmetic combinator and your setup is done. The cars of your train should stay balanced as long as the resources are loaded and unloaded at the same rate, but once they are not unloaded and loaded at the same rate, there might be discrepancies. This is due to the fact that we can only read contents from the train and not from each individual cars. For the unloading, it is the same setup as the single car. You can divide the desired resources by the number of cars if you want. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave it a like and let me know in the comment what you think. See you soon for the next video.